Hi guys, Tarantula Sam here, and today I wanted to do another video on enclosures for you. Um, so I have all of these different uh, enclosures for uh, small tarantulas and spiderlings. Um, the only ones that uh, are housing uh, tarantulas at the moment are this larger one, has my one and a half inch Acanthus scuria geniculata in it, and this deli cup here has my Brachypelmy smithi in it. Um, so what I'm planning on doing is I don't have a lot of tarantulas right now. I only have six, um, and so I'm going to be housing them all in these acrylic containers. I think they look a lot better than these deli cups. My biggest complaint about the deli cups, though they're really cheap, and if you have a lot of slings, they can be convenient. Um, they really get clouded up on the sides, and they don't look very good. You can't see in the sides very well if you've got them on a shelf. And when you take the lids off, they make a pop that uh, startles the spider. Uh, and sometimes I've had the little sling refuse food uh, because it's been so startled. Um, these lids tend to come off a lot smoother, um, and uh, these look really good. They stay really clear, and uh, they just uh, look nice, especially if you're displaying your little slings on like a shelf or something. Um, so uh, what uh, I do to get these, I actually get these all at Hobby Lobby. Um, the pricing there is really, really good. You can often find 40% off coupons for items, and uh, that's what I'll usually do is I'll wait till those 40% off coupons come out, and then I'll get them. Um, but uh, these are baseball um, display cases. Come in a box like this, and they retail for $2.99 uh, without a coupon. The larger size is a softball display case, and they retail for um, uh, $4.99 without the uh, discount. These small ones are actually uh, uh, like die-cast cars, like Hot Wheels and Matchbox car display cases. And you can get a pack of six um, without the coupon for $7.99. Just come in this box. Um, there's six of them you get in there. I have three left. Um, so I wanted to talk about these uh, a little bit for you. Specifically, uh, this one, i uh, tell you uh, what uh, I've done with this. Um, these are... Uh, new for me. I just made these and uh, I'll be rehousing my slings and deli cups in these uh, little matchbox uh, car containers. Um, so uh, what I first do with these, uh, when I take them out, they, they're they just uh, little uh, display cases. So I'll drill the holes first, like I got here. And for you guys who want just uh, this easy quick pattern, all I have attached a JPEG down in the description that I've made up on a Google Doc. You can just print this out, cut it out, tape it on, and then draw out the holes really quick. Um, makes it real convenient. Um, and then in these little enclosures, uh, what I've done is I've made a uh, little, just a little drinking dish. It'll hold like two drops of water from an eyedropper out of a, like a rubber plant leaf. Um, I've got a few rocks in there. You can pick up river rocks at uh, Hobby Lobby as well for real cheap, whole big bag of them. Um, and then I've made these little hides um, that go back in the corner they can crawl in. Um, the way that I make the hides is I actually pick these up, these Glitter Brilliant um, glitter packs from uh, Family Dollar, Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, excuse me, I picked them up from Dollar Tree for a dollar and you get five of them and these containers are perfect. You gotta be kind of inventive to come up with some of these things. Um, they're perfect to get two hides and a, a small spiderling water dish uh, out of them. So what I do is I cut them and I cut the bottom off for the for the dish, and then I cut it in half and trim down the the side for for the hides. And so the end result when I when I cut them in half, trim them down, I just get this kind of little arch, and uh, then the little water dish for about a three. Uh, three quarter to an inch sling. I put a few drops in there and they'll come drink out of them. Um, and uh, what I do for the hides is I take some of the river rocks and I just hot glue them on. So I come up with these little hides. And I just stick them in there uh, with, uh, I use uh, um, cocoa fiber and vermiculite. I mix it up. Uh, probably about 60% cocoa piper, about 40% vermiculite, and I just kind of pack it down, pack it around. And uh, the end product that I end up with is this. I have some uh, little uh, fake plants in there as well. 
I'll just pick up the plants with the most variety uh, at like Michael's or Hobby Lobby that I can pull little leaves off of. Uh, these are some of the ones I like. I like the ones that are rubber more than the ones that have a little bit of fabric to them because the plastic and rubber I feel like uh, stays cleaner easier. Um, yeah, there's just all sorts of things you can get. Just go look around and you'll find them. But uh, anyways, I uh, hope this video was helpful and gives uh, you guys ideas for your uh, tarantula enclosures, especially your sling enclosures. Um, the, these, uh, these can be great. Um, even for larger tarantulas, I uh, have uh, a larger container that's for like a uh, uh, model football helmet or model airplane that the Acanthus scuria geniculata will be rehoused in once it grows to a larger size, not grows that. Uh, it's the same style. They've got these uh, um, diagonal edges on them. Uh, they're really nice, really clear. The lids come on and off really easy. And this, these are the same type of uh, display cases that I built my ar arboreal um, uh, tarantula enclosure out of that I showed in my last video. But... Anyways, I hope this video was helpful for you. If you like uh, these types of videos and you find these videos helpful, please subscribe to my channel. Um, I only have a few videos uploaded at this point. The channel's pretty new, um, so I appreciate uh, subscribers and helping me grow this. Um, and uh, if you have any comments, leave those below, and I'll try to get back with you. Anyways, thanks.